strong. Of mobile games need internet connection to play. If you do not want to use the internet connection on your phone to play games, you can choose from a plethora of offline Android games that are equally alluring and engaging. The best offline games of this month that you will enjoy. So without further ado, let's get started. Down to number 10, we have Clash of Crowds. This is an arcade survival game where you will have to be the last one standing. The gameplay of the game is simple. You have to explore the whole farm area and catch all the human available in the farm. By this way, you will become the biggest crowd on the farm by absorbing your rivals and converting the humans. In addition, you can also choose from 22 different adorable animals to play as you grow your way to the top. At number 9, we have Aria, The Path of the Guardians. This is an RPG game where your job is to save the land of Aria from the dark magic that threatens it. The game has wonderful environments with an intriguing storyline and immersive gameplay where you'll become a guardian and save this beautiful land from the destructive forces of corrupted magic that threatens to overwhelm its people and the natural world around them. Moving right along to number 8 was South of the Circle. It's a gorgeous adventure game with a narrative focus set in 1964 in Antarctica after an aircraft crash. This game tells the story of Peter, who is a Cambridge academic trying to reach bases and fight for survival through the cold. State of Play says South of the Circle uses full motion capture for realism, which is gorgeous aesthetic. South of the Circle is out now on Apple Arcade with controller support. Down to number 7, we have Misc School Quest. It's one of the newer open world games on Android and iOS. The game is dropped into a future city in 3020, where Earth becomes so polluted that humans build floating cities above the clouds and fill them with service robots to take care of most aspects of life. But those robots turned against civilians due to a mysterious virus. Overall, it's a good game that offers top-notch graphics and simple controls. At number 6, we have FR Legends. This is a drifting game that brings out the fun of drifting. It simulates everything about the sports, so you can get the thrill of driving around tracks in breakneck speed. FR Legends aims to stimulate everything there is in a proper drifting game. There's plenty of content, giving you hours of enjoyment. It also offers basic controls and all the other criteria to make it an easy-to-learn game without being repetitive. However, the game physics is a little bit clanky, making it hard to do slow drifts. Steering is also kind of vague and imprecise. Down to number 5, we have House Flipper. It's a simulation game one where you do odd jobs for clients to raise money so that you can purchase dilapidated houses and do up and sell for massive profits. It is equal parts awful and addictive. The game's first-person perspective and 3D graphics definitely give off a realistic feel, and the level of detail for renovation is quite good. Overall, it's an enjoyable game, it's got some great gameplay mechanics, and it's really fun building a house pretty much from the ground up and being able to decorate it. Moving right along to number 4 with FGTV Goozy. In the game, you have to solve puzzles and complete tasks while being stalked by a deadly slime monster. As you're doing the task, Goozy, the slime monster, constantly hunts throughout the house and chases you if he spots you. The only way to avoid this is to hide in cupboards, but Goozy grows extra limbs and becomes faster as you solve puzzles in the house, meaning the more progress you make, the more difficult the game is. Down to number 3, we have Dream League Soccer 2021. It is one of the biggest soccer games on mobile. It features full teams, complete games, and a full field of action. The front of the game is a sim. You build a team, make them good, and win championships. However, you can actually play soccer with the team you made. DLS 2020 offers immersive and exciting match commentary that keeps you in the heat of the action. The graphics and controls aren't half bad either. That puts it in the upper echelon of soccer games. It also features six divisions, Google Play Games achievements and leaderboards, and more. 
This one is surprisingly good, even for a freemium game. Down to number 2, we have XCOM 2. If you're familiar with the XCOM franchise, then you do not need an introduction for this. It's the typical story of humans versus aliens. In a future where the world being controlled by beings from outer space, many humans decide to live under their control, while the ones who try and fight are quickly eliminated. XCOM 2 focuses on two main types of gameplay. First is the strategic side. You'll have to take care of the XCOM base, make sure every department is doing their job and improve the base, your weapons, and giving ranks to soldiers who need it. Think of it as a more complicated version of Fallout Shelter. Finally, at number one, we have Space Marshals. It's an enjoyable top-down tactical shooter series that's already seen two Android releases. Just like the last two titles in the Space Marshals tactile shooting series, Space Marshals 3 is broken up into chapters, where the first few levels are available to play for free, whilst completing unlocking chapter one will cost $3.99. In addition, the game offers physical controller support, which is nice to see. If you've been unsure of the series to this point, make sure to check out the free content available in the latest title to figure out if this sleek stealth action game is up your alley or not. So there we have it, find games you may want to play. I'm Sam from Down to Top, it's been a pleasure. Like usual, I keep you up to date with the best mobile games as they release, so subscribe for more awesome content. Peace.